Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring and customizing a Hot Wheels Super Scraper. These were produced in 1983. So these are basically a Bywayman, which was first released in 1979 and is based on a 1973 Chevrolet Silverado CK20 pickup. And for the super scraper here, they've put a plow on the front of it. And they also did another one called the Power Plower, which was pretty much the same thing, but they did some different paint jobs on it. And a cool thing about this particular truck is that it's got these proper Hot Wheels reel riders on it. It's got rims and proper rubber wheels. They've got Goodyear written on these ones. A big thanks to Nathan from Australia who very kindly sent me this truck to restore. So thanks for that mate. Okay, let's take it off the turntable and take a closer look at it. It's looking a little rough there. The paint's actually not too badly chipped but the tampos are a bit worn you can see where the plow's missing off the front there it's missing a couple of spotlights off of the roll bar there nice metal base on it and those cool reel riders there I'll start by taking it apart. There's only one post at the front of this. I'll drill that out using a four millimeter drill. And now with that taken apart, I can use some poly stripper to strip the paint off of the casting. So here it is with most of the paint removed. Now I'll give it a clean up with a wire brush on my rotary tool. This will get rid of those few remaining scraps of paint and remove any oxidation. There we go, that's looking nice and clean. Now I can move on and paint it. I start with a nice coat of white. And once this was well dried, I masked off the cab. I then mixed myself up a nice creamy pale yellow and I've sprayed the truck with it here. Now I'm going to remove my masking. Keep my fingers crossed that it is tidy. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Next I paint in the door handles and the rear lights with some chrome. Here are some pinstripe decals that I've made. Look out kitty. There's two millimeter ones and one millimeter ones. I'll use a nice sharp new 
blade on my craft knife here to cut out one of the stripes. Then I'll trim some lengths to size, just using little tiny scissors to do this. And then I apply them to the sides of the truck. And finally, I paint the rear tail lights with some clear red over that chrome that I painted earlier. Moving on to the interior. First thing I'm going to have to do is fix those broken spotlights. To do this, I'm going to use a little bit of this round styrene. I start by just rounding off the end of it here with some sandpaper. And then I'll cut off a little bit with my craft knife. And this will be my spotlight. And then I cut out another couple of small pieces of styrene and I glued them on the top of the roll bar there. It was then given a couple of coats of black primer and I then detailed it with some silver and chrome and I painted the seat brown. Onto the base. See, it's a nice sturdy metal base there with those real rider wheels in it. I'll just pop out the remnants of the slough that was on the front. I then use my Dremel to grind back these tabs here and I can take out the axles. The base is given a good clean up with a wire brush. Now I'm going to have to fix up this hole where the snow plow went. There's a winch underneath it. So I made another couple of spotlights and cut out a small piece of styrene and I'll glued them in there. And then I bent a little bull bar out of some steel tube. That's looking pretty good. Now I give the whole thing a nice black primer. Then I painted the front and the rear in chrome. And I'm just going to finish the underneath there with some silver weathering powder. And finally the windscreen here, there's no cracks or anything in it but it's looking a little bit scuffed so I give it a quick polish with some auto sole. And then it gets a dip in some self shining floor polish. Just absorb any excess there and leave it to dry. And so here we are, all of the parts of our Super Scraper Silverado pickup. Refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. There's those cool real rider wheels there, I'm not going to do anything to those. 
So I'll start reassembling it by putting these wheels and axles back in. I'll just drop them into place there. And I'll just use a drop of my Starbond black super glue here to hold them in place. And here it is about half an hour later once that's fully set. See the wheels are still spinning around nicely. Now I'll assemble the top of the truck in with the windscreen there. And now the interior. And then the base and the wheels go back on. And I use another drop of my Starbond black super glue to hold it together as that post was pretty small and I didn't have a small enough tap. So there's our cool little Hot Wheels Chevy pickup all back together. But before we take a look at the finished item, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Our super scraper or power plower with its cool real rider wheels, but a pretty rough looking paint job and chipped tampos there. It's also missing some spotlights up the top. And of course there's a big hole in the front where it's missing its plow. Nevertheless, it's a pretty cool little truck, so let's see what we can do with it. And here it is, our Hot Wheels Super Scraper Chevrolet Silverado pickup. Tidied up, customized and ready to go. It's got a nice new yellow and white paint job with that black stripe down the bottom there. It's had the broken spotlights up the top replaced and it's also had that big hole in the front fixed and some cool spotlights added there and a bull bar. It's had a little bit of detailing. Hopefully you think this makeover does a good job of showing off those cool Hot Wheels real riders. I'm really happy with how it came out. I really like that yellow and white paint job. You can let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Did you used to own one of these as a toy? What other real riders ones did you used to have? So before I go, I'll say a big thanks to everyone for the great comments and likes on my videos. A big thanks to my Patreon supporters to help to support the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to join them, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link where you can get 10% off Starbond Super Glues. It's a super glue I've used in this restoration. And finally, a massive thanks to Nathan for sending the truck over. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to see more like it, remember to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notifications and updates. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.